The Bahamas Softball Federation's round robin tournament getting underway tomorrow at the Blue Hill Sporting Complex. Our Charles Fisher recently sat down with BSF President Burke Dorset to find out what we can expect. It's the largest nationals in some time. Seven ladies and six men teams. Competition will be top notch, especially in the men's division with all the top pitchers in the country coming to perform. We have a uh, balance in pitching. You have uh, Illusra with a marquee pitcher, so is Grand Bahama, uh, Abaco, uh, New Providence, Long Island. So it's, it's no cake walk for none of the, none of the men teams in, in the pitching department. Ladies, uh, you might be able to uh, boil it down to two or three teams. Teams will start arriving early Thursday morning. Some teams finding it hard to pitch together the necessary funds. Will the Federation step in? The Federation funds are for the administration of the Federation and to deal with this national team. These associations, as you are aware, are season starts in March or April. Most of these associations association has in excess of eight teams. And according to them, I've been through the, all of their constitution at the start of their season. Now, I don't know whether they do it or not, but their constitution will show they would collect in excess of some eight to $10,000 at the opening week of the season. Now, when you allow your entire season to go without doing that funds, Naturally, you're going to have a problem when it comes down to the round robin. It was once the responsibility of the Federation to fund teams to nationals. Teams asked for that change. Fifteen years ago, the associations used to pay an X amount of money to the Federation, and the Federation managed the funds by sending their 42 tickets, uh, ground transportation, and hotel accommodation. The president of the league at that time decided against that. They wanted to do it themselves. So, and I told them a couple of years ago, if they want to change it, it's up to them. But they're not seeing fit to change it, so we're still at the same point where they take care of their expenses. After this weekend, the men and ladies championships will be contested in Andres. This one is anyone's ball game. For ZNS Toll Sports, I'm Charles Fisher.